This video ends with a bang. But since I'm not Quentin Tarantino nope. and I don't have his talents, let's start at the beginning. Actually, let's go back. Let's go way back to 2017. Have you ever seen one of these slides before? I'm sure that you have. The thing is that before we had a pool, we used to do this. Yep, this is still 2017 and the kids would slide super lame into the grass on this garbage bag turned slipping slide. Okay, fine, I lied. We did have a pool, but yeah. Hey, listen, we did the best we could with what we had at the time. Okay, so where is this? This was taken a year later at Grandma and Paca's house in the summer of 2018. And you know what's crazy? Behind that fence right there would eventually be our pool. We didn't know it at the time, but three years later, we would buy the house next door to Kenneth's parents. I'm actually the real estate agent who was selling it. I did one of the dumbest videos dressed as Mr. Rogers trying to promote it, but it was all for naught. We ended up buying it ourselves. And we are so happy that we did. We have created a million memories here already. You may have seen our videos on the cupcake challenge, the scavenger hunt where the kids met Buzz, and when we did the kid obstacle course, and of course our first video, our Easter egg hunt. And what you're about to see in future videos where we have the girl's birthday, we put together and had a blast with some of Mark Rober's Crunch Labs engineering boxes and so much more. But what you haven't seen is one of those slides here. Well, yet. And that brings us to today. It's the 4th of July 2022 and we are about 9 months into our new home. Don't tell the kids this, but we actually bought this slide months ago, but we were waiting for today to get it out. And we had a little challenge in mind with the winner getting to go down the slide first. Let's see how that went. I had some prep work to do for our challenge and it began with blowing up these pool UFOs without getting caught by the kids. So I brought my alarm system. This is Opie in his natural habitat. You met him briefly in other videos and he'll definitely let me know if the kids are coming. <laughs> A good thing he's on high alert because in the side yard where we did the obstacle course video, we are blowing up the slide. All right, our slide is officially filled up. The UFOs are done and they have been officially cleared by our test pilot crew. It was time to get this thing going. So all three of these had- But as expected when launching spacecraft, you're going to encounter some issues. That kind of found a huge hole here. And this one here. It's not a big deal, that's just cosmetic. And then this no one here. No. I it might be, I might be in the side. Uh oh, here it hit. We are out of time, but we must launch even with holes in the spacecraft. Houston, we just thought of another problem. Thing is, these things are really spiky and there's a pool gate up. So I gotta figure out how to and where to put the slide. We got those UFOs in pool just in the nick of time. The kids are home and we are ready to get things going. You better get your bathing suits on because you're having a gopo tish on. Wait, what? You all have squirty gun UFOs. And we're gonna play a game. Go get your bathing suits on and play the game. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna have a contest. You guys are gonna go on these blaster UFOs. The last one to not fall off gets to do another surprise we're gonna show you in a little bit. Ready, go. The other way. Keep 
No, here. Your tube's too, I gotta cut your tube. Hold on. Let me get scissors. Aubrey's water blaster wasn't working properly, and after a quick repair, it was finally time to begin. This is getting a little boring. Let's see what Buzz and Savage are up to. And yeah, they don't look too impressed either. And although we tried adding water balloons to the mix, I decided to break out the slide and have some real fun. But first I needed to remove this fence and do some landscaping. Now with the spiky branches out of the way, it was time to remove the baby fence and figure out how in the world I was gonna get the slide into place. After some finagling, we got it in place. All right, enough yapping, let's have some fun. After all of that fun, we needed a little break, but just a tiny one because it is the 4th of July. So you know that there must be some fireworks. Starting off with some sparklers. And very quickly, the kids got bored of those, so we stepped it up just a little bit. And right as I'm thinking that I'm the coolest dad on the planet, I start strutting my stuff until this happens. My neighbors just have to show me up, huh? So listen, I can't have my kids and the neighbor's kids thinking that I'm a dud. So I told the kids to get everything else that's inside the box and we're gonna light them up all at once to try to compete with the overachieving neighbors. Yeah, I know, not so much, right? But this gave me another idea. Let's get that drone up in the air and see what we find. And what we found was far cooler than I ever expected. All right, you need to check this out. The amount of amazing fireworks in every direction when I flew the drone blew my mind. Let's pause this here so you can have a clearer picture of what you're looking at. 
This is our house here in Coral Springs, Florida, and the arrow is the direction of which the drone is facing. And in this direction, there's almost nothing except residential buildings. So I was shocked to see so many commercial style displays everywhere. I mean, look, the whole horizon is lit up. Now watch it on three times speed. Pretty cool, right? What's even cooler is what happens next. Our neighbor lit some right in front of our drone. Let's take a look at that again, but this time let's speed it up to 3x. And with that, I'm going to get going and hang out with the family. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed putting it together. But until then, please enjoy these amazing horizon views shot with the drone. And just a reminder before I get going, that yellow arrow on the map in the bottom left of your screen indicates the direction of the drone's camera. Have a good one, my friend. Happy birthday, America. And please consider subscribing.